or it is also in finding the internal rate of return we know that the initial value is very important and it determines how many steps we have to take before we are able to obtain the internal rate of return by using the interpolation method by using this calculator 3 we can minimize the steps all we have to do here is press menu look for the 7 function table and we just have to key in the function that we built negative for cash outflow positive for cash inflow so we have negative 10,000 plus 1,000 over 1 plus r since we don't have r and this function is in terms of x so we use alphabet x right plus 4500 over bracket 1 plus alphabet x close bracket square plus 8000 over bracket 1 plus alphabet x close bracket q press equal some calculator might ask for the function g some might not if let's say we have this but according to the question we have only one function so we can press shift menu for setup and we press down look for the table function we choose only the function f1 press equal again start value we have to bear in mind that the internal rate of return usually in between 0% and 100% so we start from 0% which is 0 press equal and we end at 100% which is 1 press equal and the step we can take increase by every 10% which means at 0 0.1 and we press equal and we just have to determine the value of fx which is in between positive and negative so from here we can see that 0 0.1 positive but 0 0.2 negative which means that the internal rate of return is in between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 we press ac press equal start we should change to 0 0.1 now and n we change to 0 0.2 since it's in between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 we press equal step should increase one decimal place so which means that we take 0 0.01 press equal and we press down to check the values so now from here we can see that the values should be in between 0 0.12 and 0 0.13 so we press ac again equal start change to 0 0.12 press equal and change to 0 0.13 press equal step also increase one decimal place 0 0.001 press equal now and we can see that the value now is in between 0 0.127 and 0 0.128 if let's say we take the initial values 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 we can see that we have to take a few steps before we are able to obtain the internal rate of return but if let's say we start with 0 0.127 and 0 0.128 just a one or two steps we already obtain the answer and we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you